country in Maine. I'm on a road trip with my bays, aka my friends, and we are just having a great time. I wanted to come to Maine because I actually came here last year and felt this personal connection with Maine. I just really loved it, but I didn't get to spend a ton of time here, so I wanted to come back and experience Maine with people that I really love. So we pretty much started off this road trip in New York. One of the reasons why I wanted to do a road trip is because I feel like you really bond and get to know each other on a road trip. The drive from New York to Portland is about five to six hours. And along the way, you never know what you're gonna discover. Like when we were on this trip, we all got really hungry. So we just got off the highway, went to this burger place, and it was so good. Oh my God, I had a burger that was filled with macaroni and cheese. And then I also got to meet these really sweet girls. They saw on Snapchat that we came to this burger place and then came over to say hi. And I was like, you guys. I just want to hug you and never let go. Not gonna lie, one of the main reasons I wanted to come to Portland is because there's a place called the Holy Donut and they make their donuts out of potatoes. Oh my God. I am so excited about this donut place. So excited that I have had it bookmarked on Yelp for so long. I don't know how they get them so fluffy but dense at the same time. I had this dark chocolate sea salt donut and I never wanted it to end. On this trip, I essentially created a bike gang <laughs> with my friends, which was really awesome. What I love about biking, especially when you're in a smaller town like Portland, is that you can see so much. We rode our bikes from the rental place to the Portland Lighthouse, and it was a really cool experience, and I was really, really proud of my friend Kat. Kat is just one of my favorite people in general. We've been friends for a long time now, and she was really hesitant to get on to the bike because she hadn't ridden one in a while, and I was so proud of her for just working through it. I feel really lucky to have someone like Kat in my life because she challenges me and she makes me think. I feel like she's somebody that is not just gonna, you know, say yes to please everybody else. She's so honest and will say it like it is, and I like having people like that around me. Once we got to the lighthouse, we decided to be rebels and jump the fence and then climb down on the rocks, which was the best decision ever. Also, I cannot resist saying the Portland Lighthouse was the main event, anyone? <laughs> I just loved looking through the rocks and being there near the water but not going in the water because I have a very deep respect for the ocean, so much so that I will not go in it because it kind of terrifies me. I think one of the most important parts about traveling is experiencing the local food. I really believe that food is such a huge part of a culture in general. Since we're in Maine, it was kind of a no-brainer for us to get some lobster because Maine is known for its lobster. A very lovely local person told us to come here to the lobster shack. The line was out the door, so we kind of knew that it was gonna be amazing. I got a lobster roll and also a slice of the strawberry rhubarb pie. And then Kat got a whoopie pie, which was incredible. It was essentially like a cake burger. The view here is spectacular. It is like crazy. You're surrounded by just the most gorgeous landscape. And we even climbed around on some of the rocks because you know me and my rocks. I can't even tell you guys how happy and excited I am that my friend Carrie is on this trip because she loves food just as much as I do and she's always down to try something new even if she's like, mm, I don't know if I'm gonna like it, she'll always try it. She's just one of those people that's really easy to hang out with, talk to, like you've known her forever even if you just met her. I mean, who doesn't wanna be around somebody like that? She's amazing. Carrie, I love you. a good thing but sometimes you just gotta go with the flow and ride a ferris wheel since portland
Portland is around lots of water, we decided to take a sunset boat ride. So this is where we are, and this is the face of a happy but sick person. I just get a little motion sickness slash seasickness, so uh, I'm definitely feeling it, but this was worth it for sure. It's been so beautiful, and it's been really cool to be on this boat with everybody. The bays got me on a boat, and I love them for it. isn't a hotel and belongs to somebody else, but I think it's really cool to find a short-term rental when you're traveling instead of staying in a hotel because it gives you more of that like home feeling and that coziness. There are various sites that you can use like Airbnb, Home Away, VRBO. You can come together and like share a meal or like hang out in the living room. And I feel like that's kind of like where the best moments happen. Something I really wanted to do while being here in Maine was watch the sunrise. So I got up early this morning at 4.15 and watched the sun come up because the last time I was here in Maine, I did the same thing, but I was in a really different place in my life. And I was at the beginning of this journey, finding myself and accepting myself. And now I'm at the other end and this symbolizes a new beginning for me. It's really awesome. And I can't hold back the happy tears this time. So I just feel really lucky to be here. And this is a really special moment for me. So I wanted to share it with you guys. This has been an amazing trip. And I hope that you guys get to experience a new beginning and a sunrise wherever you are in the world.